massacre. Now another young boy is touching hearts across the nation. His name is Cooper, and he's paralyzed from the waist down due to his injuries from the shooting. He's the latest heart-wrenching victim of the July 4th parade shooting. Eight-year-old Cooper Roberts was removed from a ventilator today, but his spinal cord is severed. He is paralyzed from his waist down. Um, he doesn't understand currently why he can't stand up. How do you explain that to a child? I can't even begin to understand how you would explain that to a child. Cooper's mom, Keely, was shot in the leg. His twin brother, Luke, was hit by shrapnel, but is recovering. Even after Keely got shot, she laid on both for boys, trying to protect them um, from injury. America is praying for Cooper. A GoFundMe page topped $750,000 for mounting medical costs. We're also learning shocking new details about the turbulent home life of Robert Cradle III, the 21-year-old accused shooter. Police reports show nine 911 domestic dispute calls from the family home starting in 2010 as the marriage between Cremo's parents slowly crumbled. The suspect's uncle, Paul Cremo, told CNN that the family didn't see the warning signs of mental problems that now seem obvious. He had no mental episodes or nothing. There's no signs of nothing that I'd seen. Primo's bizarre behavior included driving out with a sex doll in the passenger seat of his car, mysterious number 47 painted on the side. We are enraged, sickened, aggrieved. Meanwhile, funerals were held today for three of the victims. 63-year-old former librarian Jackie Sundheim, great-grandfather Nicholas Toledo Zaragoza, and 88-year-old Stephen Strauss, the oldest to die. His granddaughter Maisie sang a moving tribute. Am I unwise to open up your eyes to run to me when Now, the front page story causing outrage. An elderly convenience store worker fatally stabs a man he says assaulted him. Despite claims he acted in self-defense, he was charged with murder and sent to one of the most dangerous jails in America. Bless Trent. There is front page outrage over the arrest of a store clerk who says he stabbed a violent customer in self-defense. Fox News personalities are going all out in support of the clerk Jose Alba. He was uh, in reasonable fear of a uh, deadly force being used against him. He got the knife. He, he did what was right uh, to protect himself. If someone wants to, a criminal decides to bust up and beat up an old man in a bodega, he might get stabbed. That's a consequence of being a criminal and screwing around with violent behavior. Justice gone mad, says page one of the New York Post. The drama happened here at this bodega in New York City. According to police, a young mom tried to buy a bag of chips for her daughter, but her card was declined. She went to find her boyfriend, who came bursting through the door, went behind the counter, and grabbed Jose Alba. Surveillance video shows the violent struggle. There is Alba getting pummeled, then grabbing a knife and fatally stabbing the 34-year-old boyfriend who reportedly has a long criminal record. Even New York's Mayor Eric Adams, who has made fighting crime his number one priority, couldn't believe the DA would end up charging Alba. I just want to come here and support Birkins every day. Innocent people in the city doing their jobs, and they should not be the victim of over-aggressive actions from anyone. Bail for Alba was set at $250,000. But in the wake of the public outcry, it was reduced to $50,000, and he was released last night, but only after spending six days in notorious Rikers Island, considered one of the most barbarous facilities in America. Alba declined to answer any questions. The store clerk's daughter says he has never hurt anyone in his life.